Hello from Seoul. So many people are missing out on the best beef and broccoli. Do you know why? Because you never think of making it at home, but always get takeout. But it's not your fault. I blame you, Panda. Don't shoot me, Panda. Anyways, if you don't want to miss out on the chance anymore, you really need this. Alright, are you guys ready? Let's get started. A lot of people are saying, Aaron, cooking Asian food at home is intimidating. No, that's not true at all. As I always say, if you have some right ingredients and a little bit of technique, that's a piece of cake. You don't buy it? Then let me prove it with this beef and broccoli. For this, you will need beef, broccoli, garlic, ginger, and some green onions. That's it. What? You want it to be fancier so you can't show off on Instagram? Then go get some leftover carrot from your fridge. Trust me. This little bad boy will make an enormous difference. First, let's prep our beef. Today, I'm gonna be using flank steak because it's commonly used for this kind of beef stir fry. But it looks a little different, right? Because in Korea, it was very hard to get that big chunk of steak. Everything was cut into strips for Korean barbecue. Yes, everybody here is crazy about Korean barbecue. But don't worry about it. All you gotta do is cut 500 grams of beef into nice bite-sized pieces. But make sure to cut against the grain. Otherwise, it's gonna be too chewy. And besides this flank steak, you could also use any cut of beef. So just use what you have. That's the best. Now let's marinate our beef. Add 1 tablespoon of soy sauce, 1 tablespoon of Shaoxing wine, a quarter teaspoon of white pepper, 1 tablespoon of cornstarch, half a teaspoon of baking soda, 1 tablespoon of cooking oil, and give it a good massage. So simple, right? While this guy is having a great vacation in the fridge, let's prep some of the other ingredients. First, smash 4 cloves of garlic and finely chop them. I'm just using 4 garlic cloves, but if you're a garlic lover just like Koreans, Sorry about the Italians, but it's so true, we eat more garlic than you guys. But I still love you, so don't worry about it. Anyways, if you're a big fan of garlic, add as much as you want. Maybe that could be more delicious. Next, grate a small knob of ginger. We're gonna need about 2 teaspoons. Of course, you could just thinly slice it with a knife. But this way, it will release a lot more flavor to our aromatic oil. So I highly recommend grating it. Once that's done, thinly slice some green onions. As always, we're gonna use the white parts to stir fry and the green parts for garnish. So please keep them separately, like this. This time, cut 40 grams of carrot into bite-sized pieces. Like I said earlier, the carrot is totally optional. But it's gonna add a nice pop of color to your dark beef and broccoli. So if today is a special day or you wanna impress your family or friends, please make sure to use some. Trust me, that's gonna take it to the next level. Look at this, it's beautiful, right? Next, broccoli. Take one broccoli and cut it into nice bite-sized pieces. You're gonna need about 250 grams or 9 ounces without the stem. Also, even though it's beef and broccoli, you could also use other green vegetables such as broccolini or asparagus. So try in many different ways. Trust me, everything will be fantastic. Now let's make the sauce. In a small container, add 1 tablespoon of soy sauce, 2 tablespoons of oyster sauce, half a teaspoon of dark soy sauce, 1 tablespoon of sugar, 1 tablespoon of Shaoxing wine, 1 teaspoon of chicken bouillon powder, 5 tablespoons of water, 1 tablespoon of cornstarch, and give it a good stir. That's it, so simple right? But if you wanna make it more tasty, then bring out our secret weapon, MSG, and add a pinch of that, but it's totally optional. Alright, everything is all set. Let's get cooking. Bring a pot of water to a boil with a little bit of salt and blanch your broccoli for about 1 minute. Here, you don't have to cook it all the way through because we're gonna cook it one more time in the pan. What? You think it's kind of a hassle so you don't wanna blanch it? Then there's another option. Microwave. But it's your choice. Once that's done, shock them in some ice water. It's gonna help keep that vibrant green color. Remember, Green always makes your dish look fancy. Now it's time for the beef. 
in a large wok or pan, add 1 tablespoon of oil and heat it over high heat. Once it gets nice and hot, add your beef and spread it out, and let it sear for about 1 minute. Once the beef is nicely browned on the bottom, flip and sear on the other side for another 1-2 to two minutes. What? Your beef is too thick, so you worry about your beef being undercooked? Don't worry about it, just cook a little bit longer. But it doesn't have to be cooked through, because just like broccoli, we're gonna stir fry with the sauce later. Once it's cooked, remove it from the wok and set it aside. Now to the same wok, add 2 tablespoons of oil and heat it over medium heat. Once it's heated, add your garlic, ginger, white parts of the green onions, and sauté for about 1 minute. Here, make sure you keep stirring it and let all the flavors infuse, because this beautiful aromatic oil is a secret weapon for this recipe. Once your kitchen is filled with the beautiful aroma, increase the heat to medium-high, add in your carrot, broccoli, and quickly stir-fry for another 1 minute. After that, increase the heat to high, add your beef back in, and toss it around for 1 more minute. And then, once they are nicely coated with oil, add your sauce and give it a good stir for about 1-2 to two minutes. When the sauce gets thickened and everything looks nice and shiny, turn the heat off. And add 1 teaspoon of toasted sesame oil, some green onions, and give it a final mix. That's it! So simple, right? Now, all you have left is transfer it to a serving plate. Couldn't be any easier, right? Alright, let's call our taste tester! Claire? Beef and broccoli? Such a simple dish with simple ingredients. But there's a saying, simple is the best. So this is gonna be awesome, right? Let's give it a try. Whoa! Look at this. Who can resist this? So shiny and glossy. Mmm, I love it. Mmm, I'm so happy right now. Cheers! Mmm. Wow, mmm, you know what? It's extremely tender and soft. Oh my god, 미쳤어. 그냥 잇몸으로도 먹어도 될 정도로 정말 부드러워. 그냥 샤락 녹아, 살짝 녹아. 근데 거기에 소스가 잘 뱉어. 그냥 단순히 간장이나 굴 소스 이런 맛이 아니라 거기에 생강이랑 마늘의 향이 샤락뱉 그런 소스가 깊숙이 고기 속에 싹 스며든 게 너무 맛있는데? 음, mm, I just love it. <laughs> so many good things here. Mm. Beef and broccoli가 broccoli도 먹어줘야지. 안 그러면 섭섭하다고. Mm. I'm gonna try this bad boy. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. 처음에는 브로콜리가 너무 큰거 아닌가? 약간 그렇게 생각을 했었는데 너무 작. 않아서 오히려 입에서 그냥 아삭한 식감을 유지한 채더 맛있는 것 같아. 그냥 딱 짭조름 하면서 풍미가 깊은 게 밥을 부르는 맛이야. 음. 이제 드디어 같이 밥이랑 먹어보는 거만. Goodbye, right? Okay. Cheers. <웃음> 음. 와 진짜 고기 진짜 부드럽다. 너무 맛있다. 음. 먹기는 좀 불안불안했는데 역시 한 입에 같이 넣어서 먹어보니까 진짜 입에서 식감 대조가 극한으로 치솟네. 브로콜리 아삭아삭하지 소고기 미친 듯이 부드럽지 거기다 쌀밥이 간에 싹 맞춰주지 완벽한 조합이야. 무조건 밥이야 먹어야 돼. <웃음> 내가 말은 안 해서 좀 서운해할 수도 있는데 당근도 아주 예뻐서 좋은 것 같아. <웃음> <laughs> I just love this kind of balanced meal. Like you get some protein, you get some green, and you get some starchy. But you know what? You can make it even more balanced. Like how? Eric, bring some beer! Yay! Everybody is waiting for you! Yay! See? It's perfect! Cheers! <laughs> <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed! Sorry kids, soda for you! Today, I showed you how to make beef and broccoli, one of the easiest but the most delicious beef dishes of all time. How was it? It's unbelievably simple and easy, right? So grab an apron and try it!
If you do, you will have the best beef and broccoli that you ever had. I guarantee it. Alright, this is it for today, and I'll see you next time.